The following has been made possible with a grant from the Lincoln Financial Foundation. IV Insertion Verify the IV solution order on the MAR with the medical order. Clarify any inconsistencies. Check the patient's chart for allergies. Check for color, leaking, and expiration date. Know techniques for IV insertion, precautions, purpose of the IV administration, and medications if ordered. Gather equipment and bring to the bedside. Tourniquet, tape, MAR, alcohol wipes, cleansing swabs, chlorhexidine is preferred towel or disposable pad, IV administration set and IV solution, transparent site dressing, IV pump if appropriate, clean gloves, IV pole, IV catheter or needle, short extension tubing, end cap for the extension tubing, pre-filled two milliliter syringe with sterile normal saline for injection if needed to fill the extension tubing. Perform hand hygiene and put on personal protective equipment if indicated. Provide privacy. Explain who you are and what you're going to do to the patient. Compare IV container label with computer record. Remove IV bag from wrapper. Check for leaks. Check for expiration date. Scan the barcode on the patient computer record, then scan barcode on med and again compare with the computer. Maintain aseptic technique when opening sterile packages and IV solution. Invert IV solution container and remove the cap on the entry site. Remove the cap from the spike on the administration set. Using a twisting and pushing motion, insert the administration set spike into the entry site of the IV container. Hang the IV container on the IV pole. Squeeze the drop chamber and fill at least halfway. Open the IV tubing clamp and allow fluid to move through the tubing. Allow fluid to flow until all the air bubbles have disappeared and the entire length of the tubing is primed or filled with IV solution. Close the clamp. The patient should be in a low fowler's position in the bed. Place protective towel or pad under the patient's arm. If using extension tubing, open the short extension tubing package. Attach end cap if not in place. Clean end cap with alcohol wipe. Insert syringe with normal saline into the extension tubing. Fill extension tubing with normal saline and apply the slide clamp. Remove the syringe and place extension tubing and syringe back on package within easy reach. Put on clean gloves. Determine the most desirable accessible vein. Apply a tourniquet three to four inches above the venipuncture site. If the site is hairy and agency policy permits, clip a two inch area around the intended entry site. Make sure the radial pulse is still present with the tourniquet in place. Instruct the patient to hold the arm lower than the heart and ask the patient to open and close the fist. Observe and palpate for a suitable vein. Try the following techniques if a vein cannot be felt. Massage the patient's arm from proximal to distal end and gently tap over intended vein. Or Remove tourniquet and place warm, moist compresses over intended vein for 10 to 15 minutes. Cleanse the site with antiseptic solutions such as chlorhexidine or according to facility policy. Use a back and forth friction scrub for at least 30 seconds. Do not wipe or blot. Allow to completely dry. Avoid touching the prepared site. Hold the catheter by the hub in your dominant hand, bevel side up, at a 10 to 15 degree angle. Use non-dominant hand placed about one or two inches below the entry site to hold the skin taut against the vein. 
ask the patient to remain still while performing the venipuncture. Insert the catheter from directly over the vein or from the side of the vein. While following the course of the vein, advance the needle or catheter into the vein. A sensation of give can be felt when the needle enters the vein. When blood returns through the lumen of the needle or the flashback chamber of the catheter, advance the device into the vein until the hub is at the venipuncture site. Release the tourniquet. Quickly remove the protective cap from the extension tubing and attach it to the catheter or needle. Using antimicrobial swabs, cleanse the access cap on the extension tubing. Remove the end cap from the administration set. Insert the end of the administration set into the end cap. Stabilize the catheter or needle with your non-dominant hand. Place a sterile, transparent dressing over the venipuncture site. Loop the administration set tubing near the site of entry and anchor with tape close to the site. Label the IV dressing with the date, time, site, and type and size of catheter or needle used for the infusion. Open clamp on the administration set. Set the flow rate and begin the administration. Inspect insertion site for signs of infiltration. Remove equipment and return the patient to a position of comfort, lower bed to lowest position. Remove personal protective equipment if used. Perform hand hygiene. Return to check flow rate and observe IV site for infiltration 30 minutes after starting infusion and at least hourly thereafter. Ask the patient if they are experiencing any pain.